death for me. But you know, there's no turning back now. This is what makes me. This is what I am, Billy. It just didn't work, didn't want to give him any credit. But as his career has transpired and progressed, he all of a sudden has fallen in love with the rubber guard. And even though some say it was not, was not founded by Eddie Bravo, then he says, yes, it was. He learned it from Eddie's books and his tapes, and he will look to utilize it here tonight. Yeah, he has worked with his, uh, and talked to Eddie extensively about the rubber guard. And uh, you know, it is the most effective guard for MMA, and that's what he's doing right now. He started off his career in jiu-jitsu with the gi, and, you know, he is about as decorated as jiu-jitsu player as we've ever had in MMA. We're talking about a three-time world champion, Pan American champion, six-time Rio de Janeiro state champion, just phenomenal jiu-jitsu player and phenomenal off of his back. Does utilize the rubber guard and all sorts of other guards and all sorts of other techniques as well. And just once he gets you on the ground, you're in a very, very dangerous position. He's just a phenomenal grappler. He earned his black belt after winning 13 matches, 10 by submission at the 2005 Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu World Championships as a brown belt. And he really, to a certain degree, defines the early days because back to like Royce Gracie did. He knows what his strength is, but he's not afraid to take the fight to that position and end it quickly. But he has worked extensively since yes. he's been on the show on his striking as well. You see there, Sean Tompkins has been working with him, Forrest Griffin, and he actually said that he was embarrassed by his striking in the fight when he was fighting Christoph Zeninski. And since 